Welcome to the Townsville University Hospital. I'm Jackie, one of the midwives. Here at the Townsville University Hospital, we aim to provide individualised care to ensure your pregnancy, birth and postnatal experience are tailored to meet your individual needs. We offer a wide range of choice and support to all women and their families. Labour is different for all women. It can sometimes be difficult to know when to leave for hospital. If you're unsure or concerned at any time, please phone your caseload midwife for the birthing suite. Often talking through your symptoms is enough to determine whether you can stay at home or come to hospital. Always phone ahead before presenting. Generally, if your baby is due and your pregnancy has gone well, we advise you come into hospital when you're having regular contractions that are three to five minutes apart, lasting around 60 seconds and becoming more powerful and intense. If your waters release, give us a call. We'll ask you to come in so we can check you to see how you and your baby are progressing. In some cases, you may need to stay in hospital. If all is well, you may be advised to go home for 12 to 24 hours to see if labour is progressing naturally. In the early stages of labour, we know women relax more in the comfort and surroundings of their own home. It's normal to experience a thick, mucus, blood streak, vaginal discharge, often known as a show. If you've any fresh red bleeding, please call Birth Suite and come in to be checked. You should continue to feel your baby move up until birth. If you notice any changes in your baby's normal pattern, please call. We will ask you to come in to monitor the baby. For second time mums, your labour is likely to be much quicker. It's recommended you come to the hospital sooner than you did for your first baby. If you notice any signs of labour before 37 weeks, you need to come into hospital to be assessed. If you're unsure whether you're in labour or if you have any concerns, please call at any time. When arriving at the Townsville University Hospital, public parking is designated to the right of the main hospital entrance. There is a short-term set-down pickup zone at the undercover section near the main doors. Short-term parking is permitted here. After escorting Mum to birth suite on the second floor, please return to move your car to the paid parking area. Only proceed to the emergency department if your birth feels imminent. If you arrive between 9pm and 6am, you will have to enter via the after hours access. This is located around the corner to the right of the main doors. Press the red square button on the intercom and the doors will be unlocked remotely by our security guards. Once in the foyer, walk past the volunteers desk along the main hallway to the public lifts. Birth suites on the second floor. From the lifts, follow the birth suite arrows taking you to your right. When you arrive at the birth suite, use the intercom and the midwife will open the door. You will be assessed in one of our three assessment rooms or taken straight into a birthing room. There are seven birthing rooms, all similar. Staying active, being upright and changing positions can be of great benefit. Research shows moving around during labour can help you feel more relaxed, can shorten labour and reduce the need for strong pain relief. Use equipment such as a ball, mats, stools and the cub. Diffusers with aromatherapy oils, dim lights, focused breathing and the use of water can help you cope. In the bath or shower, water can help relieve the strength and intensity of contractions. Choose positions which are best for you. Some women may wish to birth in the water. If interested, discuss this option with your midwife or doctor. If using the bed, it can be adjusted to find comfortable positions to help with labour and birth. We encourage you to bring in items from home. Music, a pillow, massage tools, affirmations, a sarong. Anything that helps you feel more at home, calm and relaxed will help. Think about what you want to wear. Your partner should bring a change of clothes or perhaps boardies for the bath or shower. Light snacks and drinks are good to keep up energy levels in early labour. Once in established labour, drinks and jelly beans are similar, are best. 
remember food for your birthing partner. All labours are monitored. The level of monitoring depends on you and your baby. This includes using a handheld Doppler or continuous monitoring using the CTG machine. Telemetry monitoring is a method of continually listening to your baby's heartbeat, but without the restriction of being attached to the CTG monitor wires. This makes it easier to move into different positions. In addition to self-help comfort measures, other options include a TENS machine, sterile water injections and the gas, which is a mixture of nitrous oxide and oxygen. Stronger methods of pain relief include the intramuscular morphine injection or an epidural. Discuss birth preferences with your midwife or doctor around 36 weeks. Skin-to-skin -skin contact is strongly promoted. Your baby will remain with you and should be ready for his or her breastfeed within the first hour or so. A neonatal resuscitator is sometimes used to help babies who are born prematurely or need help with their first breaths. The resuscitator provides a warm area to care for baby with suction, oxygen and medication at hand. Additional staff from the neonatal unit may also be present if the need arises. In some cases, baby may need to be transferred to the neonatal unit for extra care. Theatre is located close to birth suite and can be used for caesarean sections and emergencies. We work as a team and always have access to a doctor, anaesthetist and paediatrician. There are three shifts over a 24 hour period, so you may have more than one midwife or care provider. Most women stay in the birthing suite for two to three hours before moving to the maternity ward. Some women choose the early discharge programme. They remain in the birth suite and go home after six hours. The home visiting midwives will contact women the day after to arrange a home visit 